Hi there, this is Brooks with a character design case study, this time for a set of characters called the Dire Knots. These characters come from five consecutive days of my 100 Days 100 Characters series. They pilot a ship named Undaunted in an obscure section of space. They scavenge on ruined and mysterious worlds just to get the supplies they need to keep moving. In order to get home, to return to safety, they'll need to remain resilient in dire circumstances. The Dire Knots team was born of a few motivations. An artist on Twitter was lamenting the way that sci-fi teams tend to be comprised of three or four male characters and only one or two females. And the female characters are often pink colored or made up of personality traits like she's super feminine and she's the girl one. The reasons for this usually stem from these shows, movies, and games being aimed at young boys, and the idea that boys will only be interested in seeing male characters or buying toys based on male characters. The added problem is that this actually alienates the potential female audience for a property, and when there's generally a 50-50 split of boys and girls, you're missing out on nearly double the potential audience. So this team is an attempt to subvert the 4 to 1 trope, and make a team that can be enjoyed by everyone that happens to star three female characters along with two male characters. As I was developing this team, I figured out a semi-flat rendering style that I really liked that also fit the tone of these characters. A story for each character and their reason for being together started to grow from the illustrations as well. To begin, it was really important that the five characters worked well together as a whole, which meant varying and complementary sizes, shape language, and most importantly for this project, color. This set of blobs, scribbles, and gestural sketches were the beginning of the ensemble. And here I'm not giving any mind to anatomy or drawing well or anything like that. I'm actually purposefully doing a bad job just to get archetypes, sizes, and broad ideas at first. And from here I can move on to the individual characters. So the bio for this character, Myra, is that she's the youngest member of the Undaunted crew. Her optimism and her plasma blade hands make her a fantastic contribution to the team. Myra is meant to be a sort of audience surrogate that helps the audience learn about the strange surrounding of this ship lost in space and about the people aboard it with a familiar seeming human character. The best exposition is the kind that comes about naturally, and a new member gives a good reason for that exposition to be said out loud. The color green is typically linked with youth and newness, which rounds Myra out as a character. The bio for this character, Kaz, is that he's a bit of a foolhardy crash head. He's diligent, but sometimes blasting first and asking questions later gets him into trouble. If this series were a traditional kids' entertainment property, Kaz would be the de facto leader. But instead, he's understandably sidelined here, doing to have some qualities that don't really make him fit for leadership. I added some design elements reminiscent of the Rocketeer or World's Fair retro-futurism in order to contextualize the team as a whole as sci-fi. By grounding this character in that setting, I'm giving myself a bit of permission to be a bit more outlandish with the other characters. This character, Laven, is escaping a rough life and made the conscientious decision to abandon her brutal and primal people, and she's still trying to get rid of some of those inclinations. Laven took some inspiration from Samus Aran from Metroid, aesthetically, and the idea of the Klingon race in Star Trek assimilating with humans despite their primal tendencies and kind of the difficulties that come with that. The design of her arm armor is still my favorite aspect of this character. Here is the bio for the boisterous and scrappy cyborg, Blago. He's this crew's mechanic and their chef. So whether it's converting raw materials into rocket fuel or raw ingredients into some really good guacamole, it's all chemistry to Blago. I added Blago as a contrasting and large, non-human character. And he also occupies the pink character slot, which, as we were talking about before, is traditionally held by the one female character. Also, theoretically, he should be able to swap the mallet on his arm out for a variety of tools, which gives the team a bit more utility. For this character, an accident left Yarik synapse a gale with rearranged and augmented brain chemistry, causing her nerve endings to double in sensitivity. While blinded, she's incredibly attuned to her surroundings, making her a fit leader for the crew of the Undaunted. In this time lapse for Synapse, you can see a bit of a struggle with defining colors that were indigo and not pink, while still high enough in contrast from the background. 
almost on autopilot, I started to add some greebling, which are details on the surface to just make things arbitrarily more complex. And that was kind of ultimately unnecessary. The cleaner lines contribute to the character a lot better. This character is intended to be the leader, which also fills the role of the inward and thoughtful, almost Jedi-like character. I hope this look at these designs in Ensemble has been insightful to you, whether you're designing characters yourself or you just enjoy watching the process. Currently, I'm in a bit of a crunch mode to launch my course Learn Character Design, which I'm very excited to say is coming next week. Stay tuned for that, sign up at learncharacterdesign.com to be notified when it launches, and I'll have some more videos detailing that when it's here. Liking this video is appreciated as it helps other people that might be interested to find it, and subscribing on YouTube lets you know when new videos are made available. Thank you for watching, and have fun creating!